just got his fingertips to that Keith Fletcher and it's run for four it's a good shot by Margin the Southfield certainly gathering in pace Chris O'Lon the chase and won't catch it Pakistan getting the confident start and the swift start that they would have hoped for that's a beautiful shot by Majid wasn't really all that short but he was onto it like grease lightning put it away square on the offside that's edged away Now even the bit of footwork by Derek Underwood couldn't prevent the boundary. And another glorious on drive there, being put away by Margit for four. Really is going wonderfully well. safe, didn't quite get onto it uh, as he would have wished but oh, well now that really is a an error of judgment in this quarter because Chris Ole was running back with his hands outstretched I should think he was just uh, having a little bit of a go at Tony Gregg because that soared many a mile over the white line Beautiful stroke again. And it would just string a fraction offline. Oh, a lovely shot. No, that really is a great stroke. He picked the length of that so quickly. It wasn't all that short. What a great shot. This is something that every spectator here today will remember for a long, long time. And that's cracked through the offside for four more. So that takes him on to 98. Same score that he made at the Oval in the last test match. That's the full pitch, it's clipped over mid-wicket for four runs and Marjid so deservedly going to a really great hundred here. And one has got to think back a long time to think of a better hundred like that in any form of cricket. Come in almost even time, 109 minutes included, 1-6 and 16 fours, and incredibly enough has been made off only 88 balls. And innings that those people here, those fortunate people here, must really remember for a long time.